Ethiopia's future is continuing to turn brighter every single year, due to a number of mega projects it has in its plans. I'm working hard to come up with these jaw-dropping mega projects. Ethiopia is continuing to show extravagancy over other East African countries as a number of mega projects are underway. Proposed and those soon opening. In this video, a look at these projects is the main focus. Mesab Tower As a way of developing while reflecting culture. After completion, the Mesab Tower will be one of the towers built the African, more especially Ethiopian way being shaped like a mesab and Ethiopian household utensil, where food is kept. Ethiopia's Ministry of Culture and Tourism is willing to boost tourism with this magnificent 70-story tower, covering an area of 20,000 square meters and a height of 250 meters along Mozambique Street Kirko's sub-city, Addis Ababa. This 681 million US dollars project will include hotels, shopping malls, a cultural center, gym and a golf club with expectations of completion in 2025. Log Air Real Estate Project As Ethiopia is working hard to become a middle-income country and real estate's development being one of the factors for the achievement of that goal. Log Air Mega Project is a great idea for this beautiful country in the Horn of Africa, being introduced way back in 2018, and construction being began in 2020. The 1.5 billion US dollars project has received setbacks seriously affecting its first phase of construction. This delays because of lack of cement and boundary issues related problems which Eagle Hill developers a Dubai-based real estate development company has encountered during the phase one of the project. If all goes well as planned, this 36-hectare mixed-use residential complex will include 4,000 houses, hotels, retail and leisure services a major attraction of foreign investors into the country. Adwa Memorial Center Consisting of multi-purpose units such as a museum, youth centers, a library, childcare, a gym, cafeterias, and a number of leisure facilities. The Adwa Center will be sitting on 3.3 hectares in the capital city, Addis Ababa, at a cost of over 4.6 billion burr, which is over 90.46 million US dollars, over 1,000 cars, and over 2,000 people three smaller auditoriums with a capacity of 400 people. With a 600-car capacity parking space, will be able to fit in this facility. Adwa Center is being built as a way of commemorating the victory of Adwa and Ethiopian patriots who bravely fought in the battle against colonialists, meaning that it will act as a symbol of for the spirit of Pan-Africanism as a memorial center for the African victory the project is near completion, with expectations of completion, at the end of 2023. Aluto Longano Geothermal Power Project With the target capacity from this plant, being expected to be 70 watts, the station, which has been shut down since 2018, under circumstances of steam-induced corrosion, hydrothermal brokerages and steam line leaks, is now showing clear signs of coming back to life due to efforts being made by Kenya Electricity Generation Company, or simply KenGen, which is responsible for the project execution. When we talk about the East African Rift Valley, Ethiopia is among the countries through which the East African Rift Valley pass with the name the Great Ethiopia Rift Valley, given to this Rift Valley through it, as one of the most important structures of East Africa being marked by north-northwest to south-southwest with several craters and lakes also lies Aluto Volcano, 
a Dewent volcano, which is a volcanic complex of the Ethiopian Rift Valley trending north-northwest. To south-southeastwick several craters up to one kilometer wide Bet Lake Longano and Ziwe. A number of wells have been drilled and production testing done on these wells, which have a capacity of 8 megawatts and a depth of 3,000 meters each. After its completion, this station will be handed over to Aluto Longano Geothermal Wellhead Power System Company, which is wholly owned by the Ethiopian state-owned company EEP. Fairfax Oil Refinery Project Being under partnership between a US-based investment business and Asian counterparts, this project will cost a whopping for billion US dollars. The project's expectations are to not only benefit Ethiopia, but also East Africa as a whole. The location of this mega project will be awash, which is Ethiopia's eastern town, around 220 kilometers from the capital Addis Ababa. The refinery's capacity will be 120,000 barrels of oil per day, which will be equivalent to 6 million metric tons of crude oil. TAMS Hydropower Project This project being currently owned by Ethiopia's Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Energy is a proposed multi-purpose reservoir project located on Borowakobo River in Gombella. The project is expected to generate 5,760 gigawatt hours, which is 1,700 megawatts total capacity, being expected to cost around 3,240 to million US dollars. The planned Hams Reservoir will have a live storage of a 4.8 billion cubic meters with a dam height of 248 meters and a 76 kilometers reservoir area. The project is expected to be completed in 2025, if all goes as planned. Largest airport in Africa. Ethiopia has hope of coming up with a set to be the largest airport in Africa, which will be located in Bishof to a town, which is 39 kilometers southeast of the capital Addis Ababa. As a whopping 5 billion US dollars, the airport is expected to handle over 100 million passengers every year, with the airport sitting on an area of 35 square kilometers. In addition to Bol International Airport, this project will assist in minimizing passenger congestion at Bol International Airport.